are waking up and looking at champions this morning. Women's U.S. soccer team. Wow, look at this. They are back and coming back in style. Of course, with tons of confetti that you'll see in a moment just dropping there. These pictures are from New York City. Uh, Mayor Bill de Blasi was also along this route. He was on one of the uh, floats with the team members there and the team captain. Uh, this is just an exciting time, Suzanne. We both talked about this because the little girls are there watching and for the first time seeing, you know, of course, they can win four times, not just one, two, three, but four times and keep going. This is amazing. Here. Yeah, it's great to see everybody decked out in their red, white, and blue and holding up signs that celebrate them being four-time world champs. These are incredible women who brought home, they backed up all of their trash talking. Oh, yes, they, they took did. a lot of blows from other countries. You know, and, and not just from other countries, but also from people here inside the U.S. Yeah. You know, it's like one self effect, just all of this hating. But you know what? They pulled it off. They ignored the trash talking and they brought us back, of course, the big win. There you can see them uh, just waving to everybody there. I can only imagine how many people are out there just cheering them on right now. This is a, a, a very good sight to see there in New York. And what's wonderful is the last ticker tape parade that happened in New York was for the same team, the Women's World Cup. So this is an iconic moment to have in New York. The ticker tape parade down the, mm -hmm. what did you want to rename the street? Yeah, I wanted to call it Canyon of Sheroes. Yeah. It's called the Canyon of Heroes, but Canyon of Sheroes. I just witnessed uh, Governor Cuomo. That's him right there on uh, that float right now. So you got a lot of politicians, a lot of superstars taking a, uh, an important role in this big event for us. So, of course, we'll keep you posted throughout the day.